Playing college athletics is much like living underneath a microscope. There are rules for rules. We don't have to like the rules, but we do have to live by the rules. Whether it's the no dunking rule in basketball warm-ups that North Florida was penalized for, or improper communication that Gino Oriyama, Connecticut's legendary women's basketball coach, got dinged for when he called 12-year-old Monet Davis after an outstanding Little League World Series performance, to mentioning a recruit's name like Memphis was dinged for. We can feel that these are ridiculous, but we have to live by them. And the better you understand the rules, the easier it is to adjust how you play or how you operate in order to have success. Taxes are rules many people don't like, but we have to live with. The better you understand how they work and how they're gonna impact you, the better decisions you can make in regards to job opportunities, places to live, products to buy, investments to participate in, and more. There are many types of taxes. For this video, I'm going to focus on how taxes might impact you with name, image, and likeness. Many of us had jobs growing up, whether it's McDonald's or a grocery store, gas station, Chick-fil-A, or whatever it may be. We received our paycheck and there was some money missing. And that money went to someone named FICA. In that scenario, you would have been a W-2 employee and your taxes were withheld and paid to the government for you. When you engage in a name, image, and likeness deal, you are now doing business as a self-employed person. And those taxes are not withheld. You are responsible for withholding these taxes and paying them to the government. There are no get out of jail free cards for this. So you have to do it right. And if you receive a cash deal with a t-shirt or a hat or a car, you have to count that non-cash part as compensation. So let's say you have a thousand dollar cash deal and they give you a t-shirt with a logo on it to wear. And that t-shirt's twenty dollars. Your total tax liability now is one thousand and twenty dollars. If we're in North Carolina and we're paying our self-employment tax, out of that $1,020, that's $156.06, or 15.3% self-employment tax that's going to be taken out. Next, if we're at the lowest tax bracket, we have a 12% federal tax that we pay. That's $122.40 out of that $1,020 total income. And North Carolina has a 5.25% state income tax, meaning you're going to pay $53.55 in state taxes. So out of that $1,020, you're going to be able to pay, use $687.99 of it, and you're going to be paying $332.01 to Uncle Sam for taxes. Understanding this is going to help you navigate whether you have grants you still have to qualify for. Understanding how these taxes are going to affect you is key because again, now you're playing in the big leagues financially even though you're still in collegiate athletics. 